This is a story about how Rabbi Akiva's daughter, Shalamis, was saved by having so much Ava Sisroa. It's written by Sarah Bernhack and illustrated by Leah Rosenthal. One day, Rabbi Akiva heard a knock on his door. Come in, he said. Come in, please. Two strange men came in. These two men were called astrologers. Astrologers look into the sky and look into the stars and are able to see what could happen. We have been looking into the stars, they said. We see that you have a daughter, Shalamis, and on her wedding day, a snake will hurt her. We warn you, be careful. And then they left. Rabbi Akiva looked out of the window. There is Shalamis, he said. She's still so young and will not be a bride. She won't have a wedding for many years. Hashem will surely keep her safe. Many years had passed. One day, Rabbi Akiva said, My daughter, it's time for you to marry. Your mother, Rachel, and I want you to be happy. So we will help you find you a good husband. Rabbi Akiva knew a kind man who loved Hashem and learned Tyra day and night. His name was Ben Azai. Will you marry this special man, this Talmud Chacham? Rabbi Akiva asked his daughter. Yes, Shalamis said. He will be a good husband for me. But, oh no, Rabbi Akiva could not forget the warning that the two astrologers told him about the snake. Would a snake really hurt his Shalamis on her wedding day? I'm not going to tell the Kala. I'm not going to tell the bride, he decided. I'm going to trust in Hashem to keep her safe. In her wedding dress, Shalamis looked like a queen. Her face was full of kindness and she was very happy. Many servants were preparing her wedding. They rushed in. See, he's rushing around and they rushed out and the tables were set. Chairs were brought. There was so much to do on a wedding day. While everyone was busy, there was a poor man. He was standing by the door. See over here? The poor man was standing by the door. His robes were torn. His face was sad. He didn't come in. But he stood there and cried. Please, I'm hungry. Can someone give me something to eat? The servants rushed in. The servants rushed out. They didn't notice the poor man. I'm hungry, he cried. Give me food. Please give me food. No one heard the poor man. No one but Shalamis, the bride. She went straight to him and said, Come in, old man. Sit here and I'll bring you food. You must not be hungry on my wedding day. See, she's pointing to him. She's telling him to come in. Wow, that was so special of Shalamis. She was thinking about someone else even when she had a very, it was her wedding and it was a very busy day. So the Kala, the bride, gave the poor man food. She gave him her food her plate. The servants rushed in, the servants rushed out. They did not see what Shalamis did. They did not know that the Kala, that the bride gave away all of her very own food. She gave it to the poor man. Soon it was time for the wedding. Come, my daughter, said Rachel. We will go to the garden. This pin was not put in right. It was something to fix her pretty, pretty veil. So she said, hmm, it's not in properly. I will take it off, but I don't want to lose it. Where shall I put it? Where shall I put it to keep it safe? So you know what she did? She stuck it into a crack in the wall. 
Without looking, she quickly stuck the pin into the crack in the garden wall. She didn't want to be late for her wedding. And then she left and had her wedding. The next day, Shalama said, Ooh, where was my pin? Where did I put it? She looked for the pen. I remember, she said, I left it in the crack in the garden wall. You see it over there? That little pin? Shalamis went out into the garden to get it. The gold pin was twinkling in the crack. She began to pull it from the wall. And then, bum, bum, bum. <gasps> help, help, she cried. <gasps> I see a snake. Help, help. Rabbi Akiva and her mommy, Rachel, ran out of the garden, ran out to the garden where she was. There at the end of the Shalamis' gold pin was a snake, but it was dead. Oh my, Rabbi Akiva remembered the warning of the astrologers. He knew that the snake came to hurt the bride. Yet Shalamis had stuck the pin into the snake instead. And it wasn't able to hurt her anymore. She was saved. Tell me, Shalamis, said her tati, Rabbi Akiva, what special mitzvah did you do on your wedding day? Hmm... I didn't do anything special, father, she said. I remember there was a poor hungry man that came to my wedding and all the servants were so busy, so I gave him my food. That great mitzvah saved your life, said Rabbi Akiva. The mitzvah of tzedakah. The mitzvah saved you from getting hurt by the snake. And this is how the bride was saved. Sedaka is one way of having Avis Yisroel. She cared so much for this poor man. Hashem said, nope, the snake's not going to come hurt her. And Hashem saved her and made sure that the snake was killed instead. And that's the end of our special story.